Okay, hello. So this is a tip for the DJI Phantom with the GoPro mount. As you can see, uh, the mount, original mount, is actually pretty unstable. So since it only has two screws in the front and the back, if you wiggle it side to side, it, well, it goes side to side. So that adds quite a lot of vibration to your video. So what I did was I bought this double-sided tape from Scotch. Uh, it's super strong. Uh, or extra strong actually it can 15 centimeters of it uh, can hold one kilo it's also designed for out outdoors so it's waterproof sunproof temperature proof and I've added this to the back of the um, of the mount so after taking the mount out to the back of it as you can see I added two slides of this tape simply because the tape isn't wide enough to fit only one so you add two and you stick it on pretty good. You can leave a bit outside, that's what we're going to take off now. So I just use a cutter to take the excess all around so that when dirt and stuff doesn't get glued to it, also it's nicer. So I cut this all around. I'm just going to fast forward the video so you guys don't have to see this. Uh, it took just a little while, but even so, so here we go. The tape is really narrow, so it doesn't add a lot to the under to the um, to the mount. It's not like it's going to be completely off. It's also a bit foamy, so it helps dampen a bit the vibration, and it doesn't allow this like side by side that it did, as you guys could see in the be beginning of the video. So, almost there. And here we go. So there you can see that it's on the back side of the, of the mount. And now let's put it back onto the fountain. So you can see it only has one screw in the front, one screw in the back. So the sideways motion, which is the worst part of the jello, it's pretty easy. I don't know why they mounted it this way. Uh, take off the back peeling so it's already glued to the mount. Now what we're going to do is glue it to the, to the body of the DJI Phantom. Make sure to line up the holes so you don't have to pull it back and forth because that'll not help the glue of the scotch tape. Put back the screws. I normally tighten them not too tight at first, so ease the, ease the, the tape in. So tighten this the first one a bit, then tighten the other one, then I go back. and just keep tightening until it's there. Now I'm gonna put on the GoPro screw. If you saw my other video, you can see that I'm using the original screw and not the one supplied with the DJI. That's because I always use the, the GoPro carcass, not the DJI supplied mount. I think it just protects the GoPro more. Here it's still a bit wobbly, but that's because the screw isn't tight yet. So let me just finish tightening. <laughs> both these two screws and the GoPro screw. And now it's rock hard. Thank you for watching.